the number of photons emitted in 5 hours by 100 watt sodium vapor lamp is how much if the wavelength of photon is 6000 angstrom units so we are given wavelength of the photon 6000 angstrom units 6 into 10 to the power of 3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeters that comes out to be 6 into 10 to the power of minus 5 centimeters and when we convert into meters it will become 6 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters so this is wavelength and thereby the energy corresponding to one photon E1 is equal to Hc by lambda therefore energy corresponding to one photon is H 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 C 3 into 10 to the power of 8 by the wavelength given 6 into 10 to the power of minus 7 so this is energy associated with one photon how many such photons correspond to if n is the total number of photons then the energy corresponding to n number of photons will become n into hc by lambda so we know h we know c we know the lambda hc by lambda we have worked out here and total energy we are given 100 watt sodium vapor lamp in 5 hours so let us substitute and simplify for n we have e n is equal to 5 hours 5 into 60 into 60 seconds into 100 watts is equal to n number of photons which we need to calculate hc by lambda h 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 Planck's constant c 3 into 10 to the power of 8 by lambda lambda we have worked out 6 into 10 to the power of minus 7 therefore what is n so thus we have 5 into 60 into 60 into 100 into 6 into 10 to the power of minus 7 by 6.625 that is nearly 6.6 .6, into 10 to the power of minus 34 into 3 into 10 to the power of 8 so let us work out the nearest number possible so indirectly we have 5 into 6 into 6 1 2 3 4 10 to the power of 4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 that is 10 to the power of minus 3 into 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by 6.6 .6 into 3 into 10 to the power of minus 34 8 minus 26 so the number approximately comes out to be this is 2 times this is 3.3 .3 times so 6 into 6 into 5 by 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power of 23 this can be further comparing with the answers we will try to simplify so the answers are given in the order of 10 to the power of 24 10 to the power of 23 minus 24 22 so here the values are coming out to be positive and in the positive options we have 10 to the power of 24 10 to the power of 23 so b and d b is ruled out and the other option is nearly 5.4 8.5 and 3.4 into 10 to the power of 22 23 24 we have so if we take this is 30 so we can write 6 into 3 by nearly 3.3 .3. so this 30 will become 10 to the power of 24 so 18 by nearly 3.3 .3 will approximately comes out to be 5.43 into 10 to the power of 24 so the calculation we need to go for the simplification by looking at the options so we have 5.4 into 10 to the power of 23 as a this is 8.5 but into 10 to the power of 23 this 24 we need and this is only 22 so the option is a